swayed by new and deadly dangers, Captain Midnight lays plans to capture Ivan Shark. But a local constable interferes, and Midnight falls hopelessly into the hands of Ivan Shark's terrorists. to my office. Hurry, signing off. You heard what they said? Have the operatives stand by. Yes, sir. Well, what about me? I arrested them. You go along with us. It'll be a feather in your cap to take them to intelligence headquarters. Come on, you luck. All right. Don't get stuck. Look at me. Don't you remember me? Joyce, your daughter. Lies. All lies. Get out. I'll tell you nothing. Leave me alone. It's no use, Doctor. He doesn't recognize me. My being here has made him worse, if anything. Come, come, Miss Edwards. You must be patient. Are you the government man? Yeah. I'm from police headquarters. The chief sent me over to see if old man Edwards could identify this bird. Not a chance. He's balmy. Why, he don't even know his own daughter. Still daffy, eh? Well, the girl will do. We'll let her give him the once over. Come on, you. Keep your eyes peeled while I help this fellow. Tell him I can't see him at this time. I won't see anyone. Just a moment. Really, I would advise seeing this man. If he is one of them, we'll bring him before your father. Perhaps his very appearance will be the spark necessary to fire his memory. Very well. Tell him I'll be right down. The girl says she'd be right. Well, where's your partner? <laughs> Why, 
I guess. Uh, get up, Peg, and let the lady take a look at you. Now, take a good look, lady. Is this one of the men that robbed the house? No. I'm sure I've never seen this man before in my life. We're sorry we bothered you, lady. Oh, it's quite all right. <laughs> Get her out of here, quick. What about him? We'll be in the clear before he breaks out. Take it easy. Any luck? No, he ain't the guy. I told you all the time. Shut up, you talk too much. We got plenty of counts on you. Much obliged. Sister. Hey, take it easy, Spotter. We don't want to get picked up. I don't accept no excuses. You failed on the job. We're awfully sorry. Now you stay there until I contact you. More trouble, sir? Yes. That shark gang went right in under their noses and abducted Joyce Edwards. And I haven't an idea where they've taken her. I wonder if you'll be that brave tomorrow. You know, it's plenty tough on a gal when her beauty's marred. Oh! <laughs> I said get out! All right, all right. No luck, huh? She's not weakening. No, but that crack I made about Marno Beauty will make her think. Say, why not do just that? Uh-huh. If Fury were here, we might try it. I'll only be a few minutes. Wait for me. Take your time. What you paying me, I'll camp here a week. <laughs> Fill her up while I use your phone. Right. Up to the brim, buddy, and some of that two-bed oil. Best. What is it now? Captain Albright on the phone, sir. Long distance. Albright, put him on. Hello, Albright. Where have you been? That's a long story. Have you time to listen? Not now. We're in trouble here. Joyce Edwards has been abducted. Any trace? No trace. Our only chance is to find their hideout, then raid the place. When will you be in? Before dark. I'm heading for the nearest airport and we'll charter a plane. Now, please don't do anything till I arrive. They might do something desperate. Goodbye. I hope she eats this. She hasn't eaten a bite all day. She's only hurting herself if you don't. Thanks, Charlie. Come on now, dearie. Eat your supper. Don't be stubborn. Oh, oh. oh, the whole thing is fantastic. Well, anything's better than just sitting here waiting for something to happen. Why not try it? Well, we have no assurance that your plan would work. Besides, we're pressed for time. Why not throw scruples away and make Shark's daughter talk? Oh, a waste of time. The best you'd get would be lies and more lies. Yes. What? Well, wasn't anyone able to follow? I'll let no one talk and return here. Well, it has to be your plan. Shark's daughter has escaped. All right, Major. Everything is arranged. Now we are racing against time. Always pushing me around. There, there. Now, Mr. Edwards, if you'll just sit here, you'll be perfectly safe. Certainly I'll be safe. Why shouldn't I be? Go on, leave me alone. I want to rest. Oh, give me five minutes at a time to rest. Always putting me out. 
Remember, gentlemen, this is not my idea. The results may be very serious. I'll take full responsibility. Now get out of sight. It belongs to me. It's my invention. You'll never get it. Never. It's mine. All right, boys, we're going into her act, but be careful. A man's life is at stake. You'll never get it. It belongs to me. Listen, man, the Edwards model is here someplace, and it's our job to find it. Once we get it, the government will be helpless to stop it. It's as good as in our hands now, boss. All right, get going. Edwards range finder is in the hands of his country's enemies. And best of all, his country will never even get a chance to use it. No, no, never. You'll never get those plans. Ooh. All right, hold him then. <laughs> quickly, get him into the chair. Dr. Jordan, Dr. Jordan, quickly. You hit him pretty hard, Captain. I had to, Doctor. This next minute means everything. It'll prove whether my theory was correct. He's coming too. Remember, not a word from anyone. Why, well, Albright. Major Steele, what are you doing here? What happened? Who are these men? Nothing matters now except that you recognize us. Well, of course I do. Why shouldn't I? What happened? We'll explain later. But first of all, do you remember where that gang held your prisoner? Well, of course I do. In a garage. I'll never forget it. Why? We'll get to the car quickly. I'll tell you on the way. Is it all right, Doctor? Yes, yes, of course it is. Take him right in line. Come on, Mr. Come well, what's this all about? Come right away now. I can't understand. Captain Midnight just drove up across the street. Now, it's a cinch he's headed here. Let's scram. I don't run, you fools. He's walking right into the trap I set for him. Hurry, bring Fury and the Edwards girl here. The rest of you listen to me. You're crazy to attempt it alone. I've got to take the chance. To crash the place might mean Joyce's death. Give me 15 minutes. All right, have it your own way. All right, stay where you are. So you were going to warn the chief, huh? No, I wasn't really. I wasn't. Get that door open. I can't. I can't. Get it open. won't talk. We'll get out of here. You let her have it. I'll be glad to. <laughs> Time, aren't you? Yes, but my way. This is what I've been waiting for. Bring him along. Don't you think you and the men better go in? Well, he said to give him 15 minutes, and I'd better do it. Throw him in here. All right, get out of here. Now, Captain Midnight, we'll see how smart you are. Leave him to me. Hurry and destroy everything that could be evidence. Everything, understand? We must get out of here. What? Watch the front.
mysterious Ivan Shark been cornered at last? Or will he and his men be able to get away? And Fury, will she be able to wreak her vengeance on Joyce? Or will Major Steele and his men arrive in time to save her? Don't fail to see Sky Terror, next week's thrill-packed chapter of Captain Midnight.